Howdy guys, Dior's here. I'm back from work. Uh, needless to say, I had a really crappy day. I just want to let you guys know, <laughs> being a garbage man is not easy. It, there are days when it's really good and there's days when it really sucks. And today was one of those days it sucked. Anyhow, on to the video. So I just want to show you guys... A little bit of food storage I got here. I bought. This is, uh, this is what about a hundred dollars is gonna get you in food storage if you're dirt poor, like myself, or if you're brand new in the getting into prepping and you're not sure where to go. Well, here we are. A little bit of food storage here. Okay. So, a bulk of this food storage, as you can tell, is going to be rice and beans. Rice and beans are going to be extremely, extremely cheap. Like, extremely economical here. So, let's see. We've got about 33 pounds of uh, rice right here. Let's see. I've got about, about 30 pounds of pinto beans right here okay but 100 bucks this is what it'll get you uh, and of course i got some freeze-dried fruits that i actually happened to find at one of my dollar trees freeze-dried fruits a whole crap ton of them there's a uh, 24 packets of them right here okay now thing I don't understand is they put an expiration date on these things. It, like this one's supposed to... Supposedly, it's best by August of 2020. Which I'm not buying any of that. Like, and what I mean by not buying any of that, I'm not, I, I don't believe that date. Because really, anything freeze-dried, as long as it's stored in the correct environment and it's packaged properly... It's going to store at a minimum of 20 years. I'm willing to bet you, I'm willing to bet money that this, these freeze-dried packets of fruit are going to be good 20 years from now. I'm willing to bet money. That's why I bought them. That's why they're going to my food storage. Now, i got some canned fruit. Obviously, this is great value stuff. Uh, bought it from Walmart. I think these mandarined oranges, they were... Uh, I think they were a dollar a piece, if I remember right. I had to look at the receipt. And then I bought some Marchano cherries. Now, Marchano cherries are not going to have a whole lot of nutritional benefit. They're, they're just more, I guess you could say, kind of a candy, kind of a sweet. Um, the only downside, though, is that the second you open these up, you better have a way of either resealing the jar, like properly resealing that jar, or refrigerating them. So, unless you plan on eating the whole jar. But, yeah. Now, I should say, I should note something about these uh, mandarin oranges. Oh, I'm surprised. Without with them being oranges, they would have said something about vitamin C. Well, now go figure. Live and learn, I guess. But, anyhow. Additional calories. Apparently they got some potassium in them, but so does all this other packaged uh, fruit. <sighs> kind of disappointed they don't have uh, vitamin C. But again, that's why I say stockpile vitamin C. You need to have vitamin C. Like I said, otherwise you're going to get, you're going to wind up catching scurvy, and that's not something you want to have. Uh, I got the uh, oranges packed in light syrup now obviously you could get them packed in water you can get them sugar-free if you like i am trying to avoid packing stuff that's sugar-free i want it's you know i want like in terms of the fruit i want it to be packed i want it to be packaged in light syrup not heavy syrup light syrup because the syrup is going to add a little bit more calories a little bit more sugars but i don't want it to be i don't want it to be over the top laden in uh heavy syrup 
more sugars you take in, the more water you're going to be you're going to need to digest and process all those sugars. Okay, so the beans and the rice, as you can tell, um, I've got them in various quantities here. Obviously, I've got a 10-pound bag of rice and a 20-pound bag of rice and three one-pounders. Now, if I were to have just bought just two 20-pound sacks of rice, in the long run, that would have been probably more cheaper than it was for me to just buy, you know buy like the 10 pound bag of rice and then these three these three one pounders it, it like I, can, I, I probably would have spent just a tad bit more money but i would have got more rice if you get what i mean because it's bulk packaging same with the beans but the reason why i bought it the way i did is because i wanted it measured out so that it'll fit in these two buckets here now i'm just gonna let you guys know disclaimer these two buckets here are not included in my food storage price. In fact, these two buckets, they were about an additional $22 with my military discount. So there you go. About with, with all the tax and everything, you're, you're looking at probably about almost $123, maybe a little bit more with the, bu the food grade buckets. And I bought, I spent additional money and got the, uh, gamma seal lids obviously i don't have anything packaged in these things because i've got to i gotta get these washed out and sterilized so that way i can package my food in them uh but like i said i bought these in the different quantities of packaging so that way i could just fit them in the buckets without having to repackage any of this you can, if you want, buy the Mylar bags and uh, get like a, a vacuum sealer that's meant to vacuum seal the Mylar bag. That's the key thing. If you get, if you're gonna get go with the Mylar bag and you want a vacuum seal, better make sure your vacuum sealer says it that it can. Uh, it says it on the packaging somewhere that it can vacuum seal Mylar bags. But like I said, I'm just gonna package it, this stuff in the bags as it is, and I'm just gonna throw like a one of those hand warmers in there that'll act as a oxygen absorber. I'm not really too worried about moisture where I'm at because I live in Colorado, so it's it's dry here all year round. All year round. In fact, it's a lot worse in the wintertime than it is during the summer. So, yeah. And like I said, if you buy all this stuff, like I said, if you buy it in bulk, you're going you're gonna to get things a lot cheaper. Like I said, I probably spent... Probably about, see this right here, this quantity, like these four bags right here of pinto beans, that's 10 pounds. Each one of those bags down there are 10 pound bags. I probably spent almost three times as much for this 10 pounds versus this 10 pounds because I need these bags to fit in the uh, bucket without me having to tear them open and repackage them. So, yeah, like I said, that's my way of being cheap. And I, I promise you, these are probably going to store for a very long time as they are, as is. Maybe down the future I might get around to buying some Mylar bags. But right now, I got the buckets. I've got the food. I'm going to get these buckets cleaned out and I'll just have it, I'll have it gamma sealed. and Everything should be good. But, yeah, there you go, guys. Like, no reason. <laughs> no reason at all. Actually, I'll even show you my receipt from Walmart. Like I said, just for the rice and the jarred food. Like, look at that right down there. Seventy-five twenty-nine. That is what I spent on all that food. Seventy-five twenty-nine. And this, let's see, this is like a hundred. No, this is like three hundred and thirty-one servings of rice. So if you were to, if you were to ration that out to three meals a day. Well, that's a little over a hundred days worth of rice right there. And then the beans, I think it's like 372 servings of pinto beans. So again, like over a hundred days worth of food between just these two dry stacks right here. A hundred days worth of food for a single person. So yeah, like I said, there you go. All right, guys. I'm Dior's and I am out. You guys have yourselves a good one. Later.